Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to our weekend recap number 15 of our official series where we watch some moments from this past weekend stream on our server with some of my commentary. As always, the server and discord links are in the description. I'll also include timestamps for the different tracks in the video. So feel free to jump around if there are any that catch your eye. Friday, we started on UK streets. That was actually what the server uh, was already set to. And we have Scooby actually in a fantastic lead. I think you're going to hear a little bit of audio between uh, me and him minus me talking about a couple of the different lines. I think right about here, <laughs> he was saying, <clears throat> oh, yeah, you know, you're not really that close kind of balanced. So I started pushing it up. And actually, today I wanted to just say before we get started, you know, huge shout out to Scooby, uh, huge, huge shout out to Yasko, uh, and then one of my IRL friends for a lot of the help with the VR setup, man. It has been, uh, <laughs> let's just say my hair would be out if I had any left, uh, just pulling it out, trying to get things working. But man, I finally got a lot of, if not all of the stutters gone. I think there was some blurring effects, um, some other things as well as like having OBS, uh, not only streaming, but recording these clips that you're seeing now. And then also, uh, you know, did the headset and stuff like that. Interestingly enough, too, Airlink seems to be better for my setup than the cable. So once I switched to that, uh, it was actually a lot better. But yeah, here we're on UK streets. Also, you might notice we're running a little bit different of a line. We were kind of going a little bit back and forth on this, on this loop and the loop in the parking lot. I actually kind of enjoy that loop now that I've uh, done it at both. It gives a lot more, maybe an ability for the train to kind of get cohesive on these uh, two moments. And here's actually kind of crazy. Um, you know, me and Scooby were having a pretty good run with a few in tow. And then you can see the server stacking up, trying to really build out this train. But man, I, I wanted to hopefully highlight as you guys are watching this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I wanted to see like, do you guys think that I'm driving better? Does it feel like things are a little bit uh, better in general? Oh, and one other thing before I forget, I really apologize. I didn't notice, I guess, when I started stream because I was messing with so many settings. There's going to be this little black bar between my first person view and then the track cam and my pedal slash uh, wheel cam. That's 100% my bad. Uh, you're not saying things. I just, uh, I think I misaligned it somehow. I, I, I'm really shocked I didn't catch it. So my apologies, uh, it'll be fixed for our next video. And then obviously for stream next or this coming weekend. But yeah, man, like, for me, like not having to guess between transitions has been immensely helpful. Uh, really like a lot of the time I was a lot more uh, conservative with my chases because every time it transitions, I wasn't really sure hundred percent where the car was. It was almost like a, I guess like an artifacting. Uh, there's a lot, I mean, that I went through. I actually documented a lot of my testing and, and what I found. Uh, but I, I don't really think honestly, after doing all of it, it's really like, a one solution is for everyone. Like my setup is so unique. So, you know, I'm not withholding this information. I just want to do a little bit more testing. And then, uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for maybe a settings or, or other things like that. Uh, maybe when I feel a little bit more confident with things and I understand how exactly I fix things, uh, I'll, I'll kind of give some insight on that. So just for the record not uh gatekeeping this information i just uh not feeling super confident to be honest but anyways that being said that's uk streets now we move over to nico circuit here in just a second now we haven't ran this track for quite a while i feel like yasko is here actually in the lead position while we're doing chasing again really like this whole weekend i was just enjoying the the jitter slash like stutter Free. There was a couple tracks, I think grassroots compound, which we have later in this video only for a little bit. Um, that one did have a little bit of stuttering issues, but I think it was actually the track and not my setup. But here, like just because we haven't talked about Nego circuit, I just want to talk through this next run here. That's going to come up after this one, just so you can kind of get some of my thoughts and then uh, what I'm looking for for myself and then I, I mean not really for others necessarily but maybe if you're just kind of learning this track because it is a little bit interesting so here you can take it a lot of different ways i like to aim for this inside zone right here going a little bit more midline a little bit static no problem we recover and then so inside inside on those lollipop or rumble strips 
on the outside. You can I typically pull a little bit more uh, angle out into that yellow <laughs> rumble strip. And then here, this, you want to go inside on these lollipop oh. slash rumble strips to the outside of those rumble strips back on the inside, which says you have really nice drop a little bit of wheel there you really want to maximize the section drop a lot of wheel there and then you should be set up decently well i have noticed that i tend to to uh go towards the middle there and you can see there's a little bit of i think uh server lag but yeah that 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 was a really fun run we had a lot of really good runs this whole weekend was insane by the way but we are now on bhs the drift playground another i don't want to say classic necessarily but i think of uh I almost don't want to say like a favorite. I don't know if it's a favorite, but the one thing that I was doing on this track, which I haven't really done before, was just like looking at where my tires were. I don't think I have it in these chase positions, but I was just doing a couple leads, just looking around. Cause I keep forgetting like, oh dude, I could look wherever I want. So this weekend I was also working on like where I want to maybe like position my head slash eyes. And I've noticed like, I do want to see the car but I also want to focus on like where they're going and where I want to go. So more often than not, I think you see me look almost straight ish, like at a little bit of an angle and always trying to see the front of the car in front of me. And then also like where they're potentially going to go. That's always, I think what I'm like generally looking for. I, I, not that that's like a hard like thing or anything, but just something that I noticed, but it was definitely fun. Definitely clenched a couple times looking at the tires behind me, looking at the, uh, the outside zones and uh here we go into another chase position <clears throat> this time scooby <clears throat> excuse me is in the lead he was throwing down some heaters this weekend for sure and uh here i'm just really really trying to pull in that proximity now that i don't have these little stutters or the uh artifacting on transitions i really have no excuse to not try to pull on the uh the angle and it's really interesting like while i was editing this I, I really try my hardest to just visually kind of capture maybe some uh runs that look pretty good i think this video i did a little bit more than normal actually looking through the the whole length because i w really wanted to see like maybe moments that i thought that i did pretty well how it reflects uh watching it back on the commentary and, and as well as you guys watching it right tell me like what you think uh is there an improvement is there still a lot that needs to be done i think that there's still a lot of proximity gap that i need to work out um and it's really looking like it's coming down to transition timing and positioning pre-transition I, I think i'm getting better but now that we took a little bit of the weights off i think it's uh helped a lot but now we switch over to houston police academy now this track some people hate other people say it has it all you know who you are but yeah, this track is crazy, man. Now that, uh, again, I mean, you, you might be hearing this from me a lot, this, uh, this video, but now that all of those like little issues are like this track for some reason has probably the most immersion of mm, not maybe any track, but, uh, arguably it's pretty far up there. Uh, and especially with the issues being done, uh, resolve, sorry. And also being in VR, like I really love the switchback part right here boom like sometimes you can kind of throw it in like a gangster i mean that's how i feel probably how it looks uh, if we're being honest uh but yeah like here's just uh i would probably say like more of a conservative chase especially like if i if i think or know that there's people behind me and when i'm in a secondary position uh i try to like tone it in a little bit try to like think about the people behind me this camera uh view also in the track unfortunately doesn't have like a track cam it only has this up up top view but man, does it expose you hard, dude. It exposed all of your lines, every mistake you make. Uh, really, really crazy. But here, uh, I wanted to include this part. I was pushing as hard as I possibly could. Uh, I believe this was actually Professor in front of us. I hope I'm not messing that up. Uh, he was also in the e E46. So I'm just trying my best to stick with him, try to hold the proximity. That section right there, I think a little bit too much e-brake e from me. But yeah, really just trying to stick with them as close as I can. I think we both have a little bit of different interpretations of the lines here. So I'm trying to fight my head of like, oh, this is what I want to do versus maybe what I should be doing. So 
and also like you'll hear some noise from him where he's not talking anyone that's in the server that is like isn't sure if that's happening to them like you'll never really know if it's maybe showing that you're transmitting audio when you're not really saying anything all you need to do is where it shows you talking or someone talking at the top right of your screen there's a little gear icon if you hover over the names at the top right click that it'll pull you into the settings for mobile uh mumble excuse me and then i believe it's in recording tab there's an option instead of continuous playback there's an option for i think it's like in attenuation so based off of like it hearing you talking to the mic that's when it activates so that way if you're getting sweaty like me uh and make a lot of noise it's not going to come through the mic as much but yeah that really fun track that grew on me almost instantly this weekend is kind of crazy but we move over to sunrise circuit so this time we are now chasing turbo and we haven't shown any leads just because we have seen these uh before i think maybe like every 20 20th video in the series or i'm not sure i'm just gonna play it by ear but basically i want to do like a recap of like old like re re going through the tracks so i think that'd be helpful for any new people coming in uh, just because we don't really see those anymore because we have been running uh not the same tracks but similar tracks but here you can see i'm looking more at like turbos uh mid to rear quarter almost at rear end but uh i'm good and uh yeah i was really struggling a little bit with the proximity i mean he uh as the name states is just getting away from me with that turbo so right here looking for his initiation point trying to see how he initiates i didn't really see any uh e-braking i'm not sure i wasn't looking at my cam if i was as well and then here i think is where i was losing the most proc so right here he's just doing a light throttle control and you can see actually i kept up decently with him but i was really struggling in that section quite a bit uh just trying to keep up with them and i noticed that's where i was losing a lot of my proximity which i was then having to claw back which isn't really great for me or really the rest of the train but now we're on a chase with scooby again in the chase or sorry the lead position and i'm just trying to keep that proximity as best as i can i'm not still or i'm still not really feeling uh that confident on this track this is still one i'm trying to dial into and it seems like i have a much more conservative line um not necessarily in a good way just kind of that's what it is on this track so i'm working on getting a little bit out of my comfort zone i notice the more that i e-brake on sections the less confident i typically am so if you see me e-braking that's probably a good sign i mean there's some uh, outliers there but that, i would say in general it's true but now we switch over to steel yard by c toretto this track is still very fun but i will tell you this man we are driving it quite a bit <laughs> like i mean talk about taking the good thing and uh overusing it i mean i feel like we are kind of getting to that point it's still a fun track i mean i would not be sad or upset if we uh ended up voting over to it but the same man like it is uh quickly becoming a brooklyn uh brooklyn park if you know what i mean but here again staying a little bit more conservative on my chase just trying to make sure i'm not messing up the person behind or in front of me best i can not trying to claw back at too much proximity but obviously taking it where i can also uh crazy to see turbo in a p3 position pretty pretty cool he's been a little bit more active in the chase position uh, doing quite well i mean it's not even a surprise to, to be really honest with you but yeah just trying to stay tucked in definitely a lot of gap i think that i need to, to work on i was messing around a little bit with the gearing here I, I really don't think it's a gearing issue i think it's just a timing issue more than anything and then uh maybe the, the approach to some corners but yeah just trying to stay stuck in i thought it would be nice to see a little bit more uh clips of like a, a bigger train on this track and, and it, it was crazy i know i said this earlier but man like there was so many good moments like i almost feel guilty uh like going through and like deleting the clips i don't use because everyone just is looking stronger and stronger every week and it's been such a pleasure to be not only a part of but to watch um really like everyone continually improve it's insane man so if you if you're wanting to improve if you're wanting to get better as a driver like please you know come by come join us you, you have your proximity voice chat you don't got to worry about this or if you want to use it of course you can come chill i think a lot of parking lot talks have been had uh for sure just kind of enjoying the vibes 
but that is basically it for uh for friday my friends but we do now switch over oh i'm sorry there was one more i think i wanted to include and this was more of a a push yeah that's uh bad transition on my, on my part but yeah i really wanted to show like more of a push uh that i was working on uh anytime that i can and especially you know someone as consistent you know we've talked about turbo before scooby is a very consistent driver also has competed in a lot of uh uh, a set of course uh, competition drift competition so um he, he, he's a very good driver uh to say say the least here so anytime that i have the opportunity to kind of chase with him or kind of get some feedback on on my lines i always like to see what he's thinking how he's feeling about it so here i'm just trying to keep that proximity best i can here it's really easy to over angle as you can see a little bit of over angle from me but trying to keep it back up and then a little bit of light left foot break to just kind of hold that. I I've actually was talking to a couple of people about that corner specifically. There's definitely a lot of ways to take that corner. Um, some is left foot braking, some is on throttle, going off throttle, letting it coast out. I think it really depends on your uh, setup too. Uh, just some thoughts to keep in mind as you uh, take on this track. Anyway. So that officially now, I'm pretty sure, is the end of our Friday session. But that now brings us into Saturday. And we started on what was already there, which I believe, yeah, well, obviously is Shadow Valley. Not obviously, but I guess to me, like, yeah, it's, it looks like Shadow Valley it is Shadow Valley. But uh, here, yeah, just uh, again, trying to push that proximity uh, a little bit harder, trying to see like where those transition points are um basically like how far my car is how tall it is on the front versus uh different cars that i'm chasing so i think here is like a decent example of what i was trying to get my chase to but it still feels like e and you know like even watching it back i still feel like it's a little bit like I, I think i could be a lot better on proximity here for sure and especially when there's no one else behind me i mean there's kind of no excuse i don't know Maybe it's just me maybe it's just me but uh that's kind of how i was looking at it but you can see basically i'm just trying to match his angle throughout this course i can't for the life of me remember who who this is actually a little bit of lag a little bit of tap all good we're back in it and yeah right here just trying to see what what their lines are going to be looking like trying to, trying to stay close trying not to jump in too hard right there that transition to like it seems like you really want to have that feeling of like they transition and you just kind of walk into their door those have at least watching it back seem like the most uh healthy transitions but it's really hard man to put it into words like how you do that i'm i'm still learning myself so um and then also i thought it'd be nice to show a little night view shadow valley is very dark as you could imagine the name implies especially this section here but I believe, if I remember correctly, this was R. We haven't seen a lot from him lately, but it was good to see him come through all the way from Germany. So just trying to imply or apply, excuse me, uh, more of those techniques, just trying to stay consistent and close on the proximity, not trying to chase it back too much. You can see me give a little bit of space right before transitions. And I'm basically should be aiming to be straight on transitions right when he is and you can see just a little bit behind there but it does look like it's cleaning up a, a little bit more from maybe like a couple series ago i have to watch it back it'd be cool at least at some point to like watch uh like maybe make like a compilation or or something just like the journey you know but that now takes us to grassroots compound i think i mentioned this earlier uh and i think actually last recap we were driving on this track you have to forgive me i was looking up a little bit uh well actually quite a bit we were waiting for fd so we could do our watch party so i was just kind of uh keep an eye on the time on the chat just making sure i had some homies keeping an eye on the time for me too so that way i could just uh, <laughs> that way uh, i didn't miss anything but yeah this was a this is still a very fun track it is very unfortunate at night though it has a really poor optimization people smarter than me i think have uh insinuated that it's something to do with the light uh and the shadows that were made with this track but you haven't seen it before 
this track actually has two tog tracks or uh layouts uh, integrated into this into this entire map so one day we should go definitely check it out i think most of the time i've been uh, spending on this this area <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a little friendly overtake and, and honestly just just to be candid i didn't have a ton of clips from this because we were uh right at that threshold switching over to uh, formula drift so still thought it'd be nice i didn't want to completely skip it but probably not like the best driving but after our watch party you know your boy was ready to roll we are now on takamaki basically just more of a me trying to be a lot closer on proximity now this is a track that we've driven a decent amount i think has a love has a lot of love from really everyone in the community including myself and uh yeah i was just really trying to be a lot closer every time i feel like after fd events it it does uh bring something out of me to, to try to do a little bit better or, or a lot better honestly and uh yeah i'm just trying to stay really close on the procs not make too many mistakes as i just smash his door completely and then right here just trying to match like transition timing i think we're gonna actually swap into now a chase position with our boy scooby i believe in the lead and again just trying to see like how he's reacting and taking the corners this corner specifically we just pulled out of i feel like everyone takes that a little bit differently too so i always try to give it a few laps to see what they're thinking how they're approaching it and same for this one too um and including myself by the way like sometimes i've taken a shallow sometimes take that more outside line like uh scooby did right there and again i'm just trying to hold as much proximity as i can and it's crazy because in VR, man, I feel like I was really on its door, but watching this back, I mean, it's not bad, but uh, it feels like I'm leaving a lot on the table still. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, man. Someone's got to tell me. But now we move over to one of the OG, arguably OG tracks, Rhythm and Flow. We got Turbo in the lead position. And would you look at that train? I mean, this what's crazy what when i talked about like having a lot of moments that i cut out and feeling guilty man there were in some insane trains on this track bro like it, it's actually crazy like i remember editing this i was like yo i was just scrubbing through the footage like dang that's a huge train i think it's uh after this next edit i even i even did a, an extra lap don't tell anyone uh instead of our normal like two cadence just because i was like dang this is crazy oh, dude you know what movie i got <laughs> the other day called, have you ever heard of mars invaders not mars i have i have heard of mars attacks not mars invaders i don't remember that unless it's like the anyway i'm getting distracted but now we have scooby in the lead position like actually sorry turbo in the lead position with scooby on p2 me on p3 i think that's professor in p4 and i'm not sure who's in p5 but again i'm really trying to push it turbo and scooby are both are both very good drivers and uh okay, i, I think they're also sympathetic to me trying to get better and uh, you know maybe i'm overextending my welcome on that but with them both being in front of me i really wanted to try to challenge myself to be a little bit of a driver here and uh really challenge myself on the proximity so you can see professor behind me just straight being locked in onto my door meanwhile i'm kind of floundering a little bit working on that proximity trying to match that angle and approach into uh the entry and again just trying to stay with turbo also trying to obviously stay with scooby but here i'm watching turbo and scooby kind of at the same time seeing what they're both doing and how they're interacting and if you look at that too look at the track cam i mean one two three uh four five six i mean there's even so many cars that it's not even loading all of them properly four five six seven eight nine it's crazy i mean and there were so many clips like this where there was just so many cars stacked up uh, but yeah man love this track i mean it what is what else does it say it's just a, it's just a very fun track i also think i like these like long uh long uh I don't know, man. Like long sweeping corners. <laughs> Sorry, words are hard, I guess, bro. Uh, but now we switch over to LD2F English Town. This is uh, becoming 
more of a favorite uh, on my part. I think it's because I'm starting to really understand. Actually, that's not true. I'm understanding more this entry, <clears throat> and it and it was noticeable this this weekend. Everyone takes this corner or this long crazy entry a little bit different, but it seems like foul as as well as a couple other people do take it a little bit more similar. So here I'm trying to say close to his door trying to make sure I'm not leaving too much on the table that entry is a little bit uh intimidating to be frank so I'm trying to uh stick with him match the angle that he's throwing out and we actually I think I, I look back I, I want to say like we had like 30 minutes of just straight runs between me and Fowl, who's in the lead position right here and uh also if you guys didn't know this is actually uh one of Fowl's home tracks so very good driver to follow on this track for sure how much was that it's, uh, but here i think we transitioned to in a second right? just a little bit more somber of a lead between me and foul as i was trying to learn a little bit more of these different angles and uh end lines so here just trying to stick with him it seems like you take this more inside to mid or slash outside all the way to outside one tip that I was told is you kind of aim for that grass patch right there that takes you straight over uh, in the correct position on that hill. And then here, man, like basically you rip it on third, get as high a gear as you can. Uh, I think I shipped a little bit earlier, staying in fourth. And then I was really trying to be a little bit better on the transition timing into entry just so I could match it. And you can see like the, uh, it's so crazy watching it back. Like the shakes on the camera, like it is a little bit due to like me, but also I do have like the uh, butt kicker on my uh, my seat. So I think it's a little bit of that at the same time. Hard to tell though, man, hard to tell. But yeah, this track is pretty bumpy, but it is like, it feels again, a lot more IRL feeling. It's the same thing that I felt about Villain Sportsland, Akamaki, um, what was the other, what other track? Uh, Houston Police Academy like those that have the bumps that you can kind of feel on the road I don't know man it kind of engages the realism at least to me at least to me now <clears throat> this is a crazy track man I I, I I don't even know what to say uh, but this is what I'll say the track is called Lost Intentions Woodside Raceway now OTM was pushing this track pretty hard I'm pretty sure they're uh, gonna be rolling their eyes if they're watching this right now but uh yeah you know i heard someone say oh man it's similar to pat's acres well if you haven't seen it before or if you uh haven't heard of that name before a very very tight track the nofa i think i actually learned how to drift on there's a couple series on youtube with him on this track uh but this track feels very much the same man you, you i'm pretty much just like forcing my car i, I feel like this track kind of uh threw me around and spit me out but I can't really give you like a ton of opinions on the lines. I really feel like I struggled with this uh, track quite a bit. And there you can see like this was maybe like five or six uh, laps into this track. I was really, really trying to learn it. I never want to let a track, um, you know, I never want to dislike a track just because it's a skill issue on my end, basically. And that's kind of how I felt like uh, where I was at. But here we're on a chase with a fridge. Uh, with the homie Ruben. I don't think I have driven with him before, but let me tell you, man, this guy was ripping it, dude. Uh, it was really nice to kind of actually follow someone through, see how my lines compared to their lines. And uh, actually on this next run, let's just talk about the lines really quick, just so I give a little bit of insight, at least what I was thinking here. So here, holding the outside left like he did. Uh, normally I would transition, but I think I got a little nervous big long sweeper and it's really weird it has a weird feeling when you get into it you're gonna go shallow here on the transition transition i mess that up trying to catch back up here i was basically e-braking most of the time again like i said i do that when i'm not really super confident and then here it looks like almost like an inside to like outside ish and then uh outside track limits outside track limits and then this part man i just could not could not understand like i watched turbo take it he was doing a lot better on his throttle control onto that section. I feel like I had an e-brake. Uh, honestly, like unironically, I think it's a, a little bit of skill issue. And I kind of use that again, just being transparent with you guys as a, as a crutch, especially when I'm uh, unsure in some positions. There is some times that I do use it like genuinely, but yeah, I think for most of the areas where you're gonna see e-braking on this track, that's me just uh, not feeling super confident. But yeah, shout out to Ruben, man. I, I, I never seen him drive before, and uh, he just came out on this uh, crazy tough track and 
and absolutely killed it. But I will say, like, this entry part is pretty fun, for sure. If you can hit it right, kind of flow it out, just like Ruben did right there. You can even run the wall, probably a little bit harder than uh, we did. And then the rest is just uh, fight for your life. <laughs> so, and the last track of this weekend, and again, man, this video feels like it goes by so fast. Uh, Oak Osaka Sideways. Now, I believe that this is a pretty well-known track, man. Um, at least for the OG, OG, OG. So the OGs of the OGs, right? So two gens down, basically. Um, probably the OGs know this track pretty well, but this is actually my first time on it. So here, uh, after doing a couple runs, I was just kind of filling it out a little bit more. I watched a couple people and followed uh, very far behind just to kind of see how they were taking it. And also, like, it helped me understand uh, there was a couple lines that I wasn't necessarily agreeing with uh, off the rip, but after running it myself, I kind of had a better appreciation and a deeper understanding of like why uh, they were taking certain lines and how that might affect others in the train. But yeah, just trying to fill it out here on this part. I thought it'd be nice also, like this little sunset section, just included in this video. I always enjoy those parts of the tracks. Shout out to all of those of you that love the day and night cycles. I know that you're out there. Others would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we move over to a chase position. We have, I think that is OTM Professor in the lead with Turbo behind. Uh, and I want to say, uh, I don't, I don't want to misspeak here, but I believe it's uh, we got our boy Dan uh, from a Swarm, the S14 that you guys have seen on the Swarm pack behind me, and I'm actually not sure who's in the Supra. But yeah, this is uh, honestly probably not the best drifting, uh, but really i'm just trying to again figure out this track which kind of sounds crazy man because it is such a old not an old school track but um a track that i think a lot of people have driven it feels like it feels like but but us new kids uh haven't had the pleasure so it's really cool to get this track voted in rotation and definitely a very uh welcoming track after running lost intentions that last track <laughs> It was crazy too because uh, I, I promise you, man, we pretty much maxed out the lobby on that track. I think it has a little bit lower pick counts. And after like 10 minutes, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people were, uh, no, no, I got to get more credit. M maybe after like 30 minutes, people were kind of like, uh, you know, it's cool, but uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, this, is a, this is a pretty fun track if you're newer to drifting or you want like a, I don't know if I would say beginner and I wouldn't intermediate but maybe like a more sweeping track a couple little skill checks here and there and the elevation change i think is always really healthy for people to understand how to, how to handle their car and then also you have this really uh nice big entry without much consequence meaning that there's no wall right there you can kind of just run it out on your own line and uh figure out what 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 works best for you wow english today ladies and gentlemen but anyways man um that's about it dude I want to say a huge thank you again, everyone that's been helping with the, uh, the VR stuff. I've gotten a lot of messages, a lot of support, uh, a lot of people check in, seeing what's up. If I feel like I have a better concrete answer for like how I fix that or what might resolve it for you guys, I will definitely share it. I uh, just don't, again, feel super confident, but the good news is we finally have this dialed other than me having this black bar on screen, which I really didn't mean to. It kind of goes like it, you kind of forget about it but then when i say it i'm like oh crap yeah it's there um but yeah and then also shout out to turbo too man i was struggling a little bit on this track i think i need a little bit more seat time uh the homie just kind of plugged in and just let me uh be it be chasing him for like almost like 30 minutes i want to almost say an hour straight dude <laughs> like i feel like you might think i'm exaggerating but i i remember that there were at there was at least a full day night cycle which is an hour so Anyways, if you haven't already, man, join the Discord, hang out on the server. I stream Friday, 5 p.m. to midnight and Saturday, uh, noon to midnight. We'd love to have new, uh, more new people that are interested in getting better and definitely that want to have big, big old trains, man. It's always enjoyable. But yeah, I'm really excited for next stream. I'm, I'm, uh, I think the sweatiest I've gotten since I've been on Aceto was last week and I just feel like so locked in. It's, it's been super fun. So hope to, hope to see you guys out there on the track, man. Thank you so much for watching as always. 
and uh, I'd love to hear your feedback if uh, I've gotten any better or if uh, you know it's about the same other than that have a wonderful week and I will see you hopefully on track this weekend peace